Hello everybody, welcome back to another Helldivers 2 video. Today we're going to be talking about a very underutilized piece of equipment, the Grenade Launcher. Now the Grenade Launcher is unlocked at level 5, which is great because it grants access to taking down medium armor enemies. Okay, it's good against vehicle armor, fortified buildings, you can take out bases with it by shoot lobbing a grenade into the open holes of a Top and Ton factory or a bug spawn whatever there you can see it there you know it it makes everything very useful but it's good for small enemies taking out little hordes you can you can clear the way for your teammates to take care of things now the grenade launcher has its pros and cons you know it's good in most scenarios not all uh, it's very helpful in certain things but we're gonna we're gonna talk about those things you know so one of the first cons is ammo now, ammo consumption with this thing is ridiculous. Uh, you have 30 rounds total, 10 rounds per mag. So you have two magazines. Okay, so you're not going to get a whole lot. You're going to get, I mean, 30 rounds can get you pretty far if you're being pretty sparing with it. But if you're sitting there doing what I do sometimes and just caught up in the moment, just spamming at an enemy you're going to blow through ammo very quickly. Now another thing is heavy armor. As you can see here, this Hulk, I don't stand a chance. I'm playing solo. I'm only on difficulty 5, okay, out of 9. It's it's not going to do much here. I'm going to have to use another form. So, you know, if you're at a low level, call an orbital strike in. You, you'll take care of those Hulks, no problem. You're not going to encounter a ton of them. I think this is the only one I encountered for the entire game. I call it an orbital strike, or I call it an orbital laser, take care of it, boom, it's done. But, you know, those are really the only cons I can think of. You know, ammo, big enemies. But even with big enemies, if you have, you know, a good team around you, you know, you can clear everything else around it, and somebody can come in with an auto cannon or a rail gun. You know something like that and they can take that out for you no problem okay you but you can assist by clearing out the way so he doesn't have to deal with a horde coming in to fight said hulk or whatever right or a charger even with a charger it's a little bit more effective than a hulk a hulk you pretty much don't stand a chance but with the charger you can sh try you can shoot the legs off uh and open up that open up that portion of it and help it you know help somebody else take it out or you can whip out if you're a little bit higher level i think it's level 10 you get the breaker which is the best all-around primary gun in the game you know you're gonna have no issues if you have a breaker and a grenade launcher you'll go all the way to level 20 with that but you can take it out i mean it's very good in those scenarios it clears everything you can just take out whatever you need it's it's very nice it's very nice but you know you you just get, you got to be careful with the ammo you're going to be calling in resupplies a lot you're going to be taking them from your team so just use it sparingly but it does come in handy especially because i mean you can see here i'm wearing a special armor set i have six grenades you typically run around with four and i'm pretty consistently out of ammo getting rushed with you know with everybody coming around, I, I'm having a hard time getting some ammo, so I am using my grenades, but either way, I, I still manage to get the job done with just a mortar, an orbital laser, and a grenade launcher, because there is a limitation here where I can only run three stratagems, which is fine. You know, it's only difficulty five. I would say that you could get away with running a six solo, with a grenade launcher as long as you have all four stratagems and you have a way to deal with heavies uh, the orbital laser is good in most scenarios you can take out a lot of enemies especially really big enemies it just takes so long to cool down and you only get three per game so if you're playing solo you know you can't totally rely on it um, and sometimes it takes a long time to take care of you know if you have a tank and a hulk next to it it's going to take out that tank and it might not have enough time left to take out the hulk you know, so what are you going to do? How are you going to figure this out, right? But, you know, you, you should be playing with other people. Now, if you're playing with other people, this is great. 
even if you are like me, you're level 31, you're playing on difficulty nine, uh, you're gonna you're gonna have an easy time. You know, you have some of your buddies run, you know, rail guns and stuff. You come in with a grenade launcher, you clear the way for them, and you will have no problems at all. You will take out all medium enemies, all small enemies. You're gonna be consistently getting the most kills per game because you're just taking out everything and clearing the way for them to deal with the actual threats. Uh, you, As you can see, you can still get overrun if you're playing solo, but I mean, it's no problem. You, you're gonna make it out just fine. You might, you know, have to revive a few times, but you'll make it out. But in my opinion, grenade launcher is just so underutilized. New players need to be using it. Veteran players, you should also be using it. You know, work in team, you know. It, it's just such a great gun. Now, you know, as you see here, that wasn't the best game I've ever played. But I still managed to do it with relative ease. Didn't think too much about it. It was, a, it was pretty good. But, you know, thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what some other support pieces you'd like to see videos on. Maybe whatever you guys like, I'll give it a shot. See what it's about. Make a video on it. But... Try that grenade launcher. Go out there to help your friends out. We're, you know, we're all here together. We're in the fight for democracy. This is a team game, and this is a very valuable asset to your team, guys. Just give it a shot. See what you can do. Play with it. Experiment with it. Hey, you can leave some tips if you know more than me about it. Leave some tips in the comments. Let other people know. Okay. Stay tuned, we're going to keep this uh, little train going, checking out different weapons, seeing what they're all about. So don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you want to see, guys. Alright, I'll see you on the next one. Alright, bye.